so depression and sadness, I think, are often used interchangeably. You know, we'll say, oh, I'm depressed or, oh, I'm sad. But mm -hmm. actually, sadness and depression are quite different. Um, and, and they can, and signs of depression can be very subtle. So according to the DSM criteria, which is how we make diagnosis within the mental health in the US, uh, depression is represented by the mnemonic called SIGI CAPS. So S means uh, for sleep disturbances, patients can have insomnia, meaning they can't sleep well, or they have hypersomnia, they sleep too much. Um, there's usually low interest in activities, um, especially activities that you used to enjoy before. Now you no longer enjoy them. Uh, you have feelings of guilt or worthlessness. And in graduate students, these feelings may manifest as feelings of inadequacy. So you don't feel good enough um, in, the, in you know, the field that you're pursuing. There's low energy. Uh, you have concentration difficulties. Appetite changes, meaning you either have increased or decreased appetite. Uh, something called psychomotor retardation or agitation. So you're just kind of slower in doing things uh, that you used to be able to do at a much quicker pace before. And then, of course, suicidal thoughts. So these are about nine different signs that can subtly present in, in patients, especially the younger generation that's going to school. Often, I think a lot of these symptoms can be uh, misinterpreted from stress of being in college or grad school, um, or if something awful happens, like a job loss or a loss of a loved one. So these are the kind of the major signs. And it's important that people are aware of them, because if you start experiencing, you know, a lot of these signs, it could indicate that you have more than just sadness, you, you know, you can have depression. So and that's kind of how we define it in the medical world.